alone at the edge of a universe humming a tune or merely dreaming we were snow A siren sounds like the goddess who promises endless apologies of paradise. And only she can make it right. So things are different to Good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And it is a beautiful wintry November day, November 2nd here on Whiteface Mountain. Also, the toll roads first skiable conditions. As you've been able to tell from the beginning of the video, it has been quite the beautiful morning with the moonlight, those ice sun pillars and orange, the alpine glow on the peaks. But today I thought I would, but today I'm doing white face nester for my grid 46 so that I can do a white face nester for the month of November, which if you're not familiar with what the grid is, it's hiking all 46 or summoning all 46 high peaks in every single month of the year. Not necessarily in a consecutive 12 months. It could take you as long as you as you need, but we're gonna boot pack up here to the summit of Whiteface. We're gonna ski down the toll road a bit and then go uh, hike over to Esther, come back to the toll road, and then ski out the toll road. So we're at the castle right now and we're gonna head to the summit. No ski goggles today. Pretty windy though. number 419 and I think that's my I think it's my ninth month to close out whiteface all right so uh, let's head to Esther Esther is right there it's gonna be around three miles round trip, but we're not we're not going down the trail right here. We're going to uh, ski down to the road right there, and then uh, do the hiking trail, and then come back and ski down. I do got one more thing. I'm Jonathan Zaharik, and I have officially moved back to the Adirondacks. Been here now for a few days. Uh, this is a nice crescenting, nice crescenting to the return. So if you haven't already, welcome to the number one high peaks hiking channel. And guys, I got some insane things in the works, and I don't just mean for this YouTube channel. I can't wait, man. This next year is gonna be absolutely ridiculous. I can't wait to uh, to disclose some of the, the things I've been working on, so. But yeah, for all of you who are Patreon supporters, I I love and appreciate, you guys have, you guys have no idea how much it means to me being able to actually to support me through making content out here for you guys. So if you're not a Patreon supporter, check the link in the description and uh, get access to a lot of exclusive content. There's the Lake Placid slide.
Good stuff. For anyone wondering what ski I'm using, this is the Rossignol uh, BC120s with the G3Z9 bindings. And uh, these are all right. They're more like a cross country, back country hybrid. Uh, so they get the gut job done. They're really good for like approaching high peaks. We're doing the toll road, you know, while still being able to do some alpine touring. Gonna switch off now to my, my, my hiking shoes. <laughs> all right, we are all changed and ready to go. That's gorgeous. Right before this massive freeze, we got a lot of rain. So it's all like a frozen lake on the trail. Hopefully the mud won't be too bad because the worst thing with this season is when the mud hides under the snow and the ice and the ice isn't thick enough. And so you kind of break through it. And then if you're not, you know, you don't have vortex and you get wet, then it's like terrible. It's in and of itself its own, its own monster. So you just want to be careful hiking on the first snow for that reason only. That's why I'm wearing Gore-Tex and Gators because I don't trust myself. I don't trust these trails. A couple weeks left. Slopes will be open, baby. It's days like today that you do not want to hike Kukshakraga. Here we are. I had to take my hat off. Oh, I guess this would be a great time to uh, to ask guys in the comment section below, uh, at least for the future of this channel, continue to give me ideas what you guys want to see. I have a good list going myself, um, but you know, I want to break out of, you know, these are fun videos to make. They're a little bit unconventional, but I do want to break out of like just hiking high peaks trails and stuff like that. So coming this winter, what are some things you guys want to see? Let me know and uh, I'll take you to some places that people don't with a camera and I'll do some activities that you don't normally see me doing. So. Let's hear it. Woo! And here's the top. Sorry, that was a little fast. Uncover the plaque. Nope, right here. Here we go, the Esther McComb that didn't exist for all you High Peaks historians out there. Esther McComb wasn't real. There was a lot of due diligence put in place to, to confirm that information, but it is more than likely just an alleged tale. But here we are, Esther Mountain. High Peak number 420. <laughs> uh, I guess we're just gonna head back to our skis now. Sam, is there anything you want to, to say to the video? Oh, that's really on point. Hi everybody, this is my first hike with Jonathan, so I'm really glad to join you all. I don't have anything else to say. I'm pumped to be out here, actually. This is certainly better than Colvin and Blake. We were going to do Colvin and Blake, but Jonathan had a great idea yesterday to actually ski the toll road, which was 100% the right move. So I'm super yes, glad sir. we were able to pull that off. Almost on 46, I have nine left. Yeah. All right. We're getting there. Ah, oh, so beautiful, baby. There she is. And we're back. Also just want to call out the five people that were hiking to Esther just now without micro spikes. I still don't understand how people like will prepare and be like, hey, we know it's snowy, we know it's wintry. Let's let's go out and hike. Oh, but we're we're not gonna have micro spikes. If you're not going to prepare properly, then don't hike. I don't know. People think they're they're better and bigger than the conditions. But all right, we're gonna go back to the skis now. Almost back. There we go. What's up? Gators are nothing but frozen. Nice. Clean. Shall we? Let's go. All right. It's now and never a reverie and ever awaits an ambulance directives to take the helm. Believe 
Believe me, darling, the stars were made for falling Like melting obelisks as tall as another Some rocks. Oh. Ah, in my head. Oh. Ah, maybe I broke my thumb. Oh. Ah, I thought I thought it was more powder over here, man. Gosh. Ow. <coughs> ah. I literally went like face first. Yeah. Stay on the road. Gosh. Okay. Let's keep going. Right. Our cosmic confluence of pyramids, hologram. Okay. <laughs> the camera's okay though. That's all that matters. <sighs> My thumb hurts, man. Uh, uh. There's a lot of road. A lot of road. All right. I don't really feel like keeping the video going much longer. Uh, I just want to get back now. But thanks for watching, guys. We've got a lot more fun content coming your way. So, <laughs> I'm John and Eric. We'll see you next time. Oh, no, the sun don't fall. The galaxy is set. Oh, it's Jason. Where? Hi, Jason. Hi. What'd you do? I forgot my poles. Oh, man. I don't know what I'm going to do. Where are they? At home. Oh, here you go, man. <sighs> oh, poles. Need these. Yep. Here you can see the side of my face. Now, to be fair, most of the time you don't ski the toll road with a helmet because it's... It, you really just, I mean... You don't. I mean, you normally just don't because you're just, it's very controlled, very light going downhill, and it's like, it's not a no fall zone anywhere. Except, I guess, on the first snow day. Just don't go too far off to the edge. There's a gravel there. So, learned that lesson. Thumb is all right. It hurts a lot, though, but we're still alive. <laughs>